Beautiful. Marai central midfielder. Look, making them runs because the right wingers on stay wide. That is a perfect example of the 4 3 3 5. You've got the central midfielders close to the centre forward getting into the box. You've got the right winger on stay wide and the left winger on stay wide, and the left winger is actually the one that scores. A brand new formation and custom tactics on my channel, which is perfect for possession football, pure football, whatever word you want to call it. So without any further ado, drop this video a like for the YouTube, drop a comment down below, and if you can please hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. So without any further ado, the 4-3-3-5 with the centre forward, let's get into the custom tactic. For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC24 coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at the checkout for 5% off your order. Balanced is definitely the way to go on the defensive style. This formation is a little bit weird defensively, so I would stay well away from pressure on heavy touch and press after possession. Also, I don't think they're very good with this formation, so I personally wouldn't use them. I, it's not that they're not good, but I just think balanced is a lot better. I like to be in control of where and when my team presses the ball, and if you actually read what balance says, a balanced style where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral. It's actually really, really, really good. The defensive width though I do go a little bit more narrow than my usual preset 50 so I do take it down ever so slightly to 45 nothing too major but I do just want to make this formation very solid and elite defensively kind of more so than I would have to do normally so that's why I do take it a little bit more narrow but at the same time I don't want to go really narrow like I have in some of my formations because I still do want to be defensively solid and defensively compact but also be able to operate in terms of my opponent's switch in the play and trying to mark that switch of play that they will do beautiful the 45 width there a little bit more narrow helping us win that ball the defensive depth again remember like i've said in all my videos recently you do have two options option one is the option that i love and i use and abuse it and that is of course the 71 depth if any of you don't know what 71 depth does when our team loses the ball, it will automatically press and automatically offside trap, but won't drain your stamina like you would normally be if you were on press after possession loss and stuff like that. So it's very, very, very OP and very broken. 71 depth coming in clutch there, winning the ball high up the pitch. Beautiful, the 71 depth again. If 71 depth isn't something that you're looking at, because quite a few of you, you never know, you might not be interested in the 71 depth at all. I personally, with this formation, would play 55 depth. The reason being, it's not an elite formation defensively. So you don't want to go too YOLO, too gung-ho with the defensive depth if you're really struggling defensively. So you'll see in like my 4-2-3-1 and my 4 triple 2 I really like 60 depth if I'm not using 71 depth, right? But at this moment in time, I think 55 depth works better with the 4-3-3-5. I just think it's overall a better formation and just more effective when you're using it the offense i'm not gonna youtube honestly i'm literally not gonna go into any detail balance the diet passing you guessed it yep use and abuse it let me know actually like i say in all my videos is there anything that you don't like do you use balance the diet passing or not and if you don't what do you use instead because I, i'm really intrigued everything i use I, I just think it's not as good as balance the diet passing so that's kind of like why i stick with it the offensive width, a little bit boring, but I do actually just leave it on the preset 50. I really like where my left winger and my right winger are anyway, so I kind of don't really see the point of having to change that. So because of that, I leave it on the 50. I like where they are. It does the job. Players in the box, though. Yep, yeah, you guessed it. Seven. Method to the Madness YouTube. The more players that we have in the box, the more likely we are to score a goal. And the more goals we do score, my spreadsheet and my data back it up. They deliver the data. The data doesn't lie. It's telling me facts. So because of that, I'm using it. Two corners and two free kicks. So that's the custom tactics done. Let's get into the player instructions. Now, the most important player YouTube in the 4-3-3-5 is the centre forward. He is the linchpin to everything. Think of him like Prime Messi of Barcelona when he was playing false nine. Think of him like that. He is the single most in... Well, he or she. It could be a she now on, on the AFC 24. That person... Yeah, that's better. That person is the most important player on the pitch. So you're going to want to have the centre forward on stay central... And getting behind. Getting behind, pretty self-explanatory. I do still want him to make runs in behind. But at the same time, I don't want him just to stand still. So uh, that's why I put him on the stay central and getting behind. The stay central as well, pretty obvious. I want him in them central areas of the pitch in that false nine position. I don't want him venturing out to the left and the right wing. Because you'll see what I have my wingers on in a minute. Why I don't want him to do that. So that's my centre forward. The most important player in the formation. The left winger 
and the right winger are on exactly the same. So they are on comeback on defence. Stay wide. Very important, YouTube, that they are on stay wide. Get in behind as well. Very, very, very important. And get into the box for cross again. Very important. Now, what I want my left winger and my right winger to do, kind of like contrary to belief, I don't want them actually making runs into the central areas of the pitch. I did try that, and it is good. So if you do want to use it like that, you can definitely use it like that. But for me... I preferred my left winger and my right winger on this game at this moment in time with how it plays to stay in them wide areas of the pitch. The, the big reason for that is because you will see what I do with my left central midfielder and my right central midfielder in a minute. And they get into the box for cross and get in behind. Pretty self-explanatory. I do want them to get into the box for cross and make runs in behind. I, I would find it a very hard formation to create opportunities and score goals with if my, my players weren't on that. Beautiful. The right winger making the run. Oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. That's why you have your wingers on stay wide and most importantly on getting behind. Making them runs in behind. The penetrating runs with the finish to match. There's my right winger look on stay wide, getting behind and getting to the box for cross. I want the right winger to make them runs down the line. Well, and the left winger as well. And there, look. Beautiful. The left winger on stay wide. The Colo Moani's making the run into the box because he's our right. Oh. So you'll see my right winger again. Come back on defence. Stay wide. Get in behind and get into the box for cross. Now, the reason my left winger and my right winger are on stay wide is because I play with both my left central midfielder and my right central midfielder on get into the box for cross and cover centre. So my left central midfielder and my right central midfielder will both make runs forward. They will both go to the outside of the centre forward onto the left hand side and the right hand side. And then the left winger and the right winger will hug, not hug the touchline, but they will stay in them wider areas. You see there again, look, the central midfielder. Oh, it's beautiful. The other central midfielder's there. Can we? Oh, no. I mean, we do score what is a horrendous goal. But that again showcases the 4-3-3-5 in its form, its perfect form. The centre forward getting the ball and we've got both central midfielders in the box giving us attacking outlets. And you see there, my central midfielders are the ones into the box. You see Guerrero and Colo Moani there. Very, very, very important. Kind of think of it like a, a Pep Guardiola at Man City where they would have Grealish out on the left and Mares out on the right or Bernardo Silva, Phil Foden, whoever it is. And then players like De Bruyne, Gundogan, players like that, they would be the ones making them third man runs into the box. That's how I'm using this formation and it is very, very, very effective. So that's why I have both my left central midfielder and my right central midfielder on getting to the box for cross and cover centre. My CDM, the Rodri roll, the Bubakar Kamara roll up the Villa. I was at Villa Park yesterday to see his beaten uh, Fulham. 3-1, beautiful. Stay battle while attacking and cover centre. I don't want that CDM to venture any further from that position. I want him there, locking it down, holding down the fort, your bread and butter. Beautiful from Jude Belling and my CDM on stay back while attacking, patrolling, love it. I then don't attack with my right back and left back YouTube. So both my left back and my right back are on stay back while attacking. So they don't, they don't venture forward at all. My goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper and that right there is my updated 4-3 well not even updated my brand new 4-3-3-5 false nine formation for you if you did enjoy this video please youtube drop it a like drop a comment down below and if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel that'll mean the world to me thank you for watching remember as well spread the love and positivity pma positive man attitude peace out more love